Hey, welcome to Pete's Cider Century. Today, Thatcher's Gold, which I believe is a Somerset cider, and the bottle, it's a brown bottle, so again, can't see the colour of the cider until we open it. Quite a bit of aroma already. And it pours to a <clears throat> very straw-like pale colour. Um, quite a lot of fizz on it, quite a big head on it. Which as normal for cider quickly reduces now down to nothing. Let's just pour the rest of it. Yeah, the aroma is um, so it's slightly woody aroma um, and actually smells drier than I expected but let's taste it. Well, it's um, I would say sort of medium sweet cider, um, actually not too sweet at all really. Um, It's not as strong as I have, 4.6%, so, um, you know, you're not getting the big hit of alcohol um, that you do with uh, some of the stronger vintage ciders, like Thatcher's Vintage. Um, so it's, no, it's a fairly easy, easy drinking cider. Um, good for a summer's day, I guess. I would probably prefer something slightly drier than this, but um, if, you, if you tend towards the sweeter ciders, I'm sure you like this one. Although there's a lot of bubbles at the beginning, um, it's actually not that gassy. Um, it's it's fine. It's a little bit, for me a bit disappointing. I was expecting something a bit more, given that this is, um, well, I guess maybe this is their standard cider. Um, but um, compared to the Marks and Spencer's Somerset cider I tried. Uh, which I believe is also made by Thatcher's. That, that, that was a better cider than this one, I think. So overall, I'll give this um, a 6 out of 10. 